Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here, I just picked up a 2015 Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon Hard Rock Edition. This is, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of the Rubicon X and the 10th anniversary. They, uh, they all have the same red hooks and all that. I think the only difference with the 10th anniversary is you got uh, the red leather seats on the inside and I think there was like a half inch lift. Then on the Rubicon X, that one's been around for 2015. There is no more Rubicon X, now they call it a Hard Rock Edition. On the 2015, it's pretty much the same. I know they updated the the uh, audio system. I think it's all Alpine and they made some changes so that it basically just sounds better when you have the top off. I know the on the 2015, it also came with a small Torx toolkit. And I'll just walk around a little bit and get you, show you what I've done. I've only done minor modifications. I literally have only had the car for about two or three days. The uh, That gas cap lid that you see right there, that stock. I went ahead and I had the windows tinted this morning. Now the rear windows came tinted with factory tint. Usually people say that the factory tint is around 20%. Now the front windows had no tint at all from the factory. I went ahead and I did 20% on my front windows and then I did another 20% on all the rear windows also. The windshield has no tint at all. Basically right now, I mean, standing from the outside of the car, right here, you cannot see inside those back windows at all. Even if I walk up to it on a sunny day, it's really hard to see inside. But when I'm inside the vehicle during the day, I have no problem seeing out the back windows. I mean, I highly recommend it. I have no issues. At nighttime, maybe it might be a little hard to see out the back. You won't have any problem seeing headlights or anything at all. But um, I'm not too worried. I have rear cameras going to be installed and all that. So backing up and all that shouldn't be an issue. Now the uh, Hard Rock Edition, you have the metal bumpers. It also comes set up for a winch. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Right under the Jeep logo, you're going to see... Uh, a Mopar hood lock. This hood lock gets keyed to uh, your ignition key. So you don't have to carry a separate key and you get the added security so nobody can just go ahead and pop your hood open. Show you what the hood looks like. I love the hood on this car. It's got functional heat extractors. Bas this hood basically made me pick this uh, hard rock version of the vehicle. I went ahead and replaced that factory antenna. The factory antenna I think it's probably like 25 or 30 inches long. I think this antenna looks much better on it. I think uh, I think the brand was Antenna X. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description though. The uh, company who makes that antenna. Here you can see again the tint, how dark this thing looks. Just love the look on this, especially on the painted uh, hard top. It almost looks like the windows just blend in with the body. Now I have a lot of modifications planned for this vehicle. Um, in about two weeks, I'm going to be dropping this car off at a shop in... We're going to be doing a lift, tires, lighting, cameras. Uh, too many modifications to list right now. I'm going to be making videos of all those modifications. I'm going to be doing one of those S-Pod kits going to go inside. Going to go ahead and open the door so you can see what it looks like from the inside. Alright. It's that old leather. Um, this Jeep, I got it pretty much fully loaded. Those little red buttons on the side is for your sway bar and axle locks. You got lockers front and rear like you do typically with all Rubicons. The Rubicon and leather. Embroidered. I went ahead and just installed these yesterday. These are the grab bars. Um, sold them on all four doors. Perfectly great to, you know, hold on to these when you're going to get in and out of the vehicle. Uh, bars are pretty solid. Show you what the rear ones look like. A little different. Again, right now with the stock height. Actually, with the stock height, I personally don't need them getting in and out of the vehicle. I mean, shorter people do probably appreciate them more. Once the car is lifted, 
I will definitely be needing these uh, grab bars to get in and out. Problem is, I mean, you could get out of the vehicle without the grab bars, but you're going to be sliding off the leather and eventually just cause wear and tear in the leather. You know, holding onto the steering wheel is also not a good idea when you're getting into the vehicle. All right, YouTube, thank you for watching the video. Go ahead, please subscribe and sign up. When you subscribe, sign up to get the notifications. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Any suggestions for modifications, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.